Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a blessed and amazing morning. It is five minutes till six o'clock in the morning, so I am definitely a little bit exhausted. I couldn't sleep last night because I was nervous. I have my orientation for Cal State San Bernardino today. Um, I've attended orientation before, but I have to attend it for the program that I'm going to be in. So I'm very excited to record and bring you guys along so you guys can definitely see what it's like on campus and see what it's like being a uh, first time student and coming in as a transfer student into the program. They do require all students to attend this orientation regardless if you come in in August or if you come in in January. So. I'm a little bit nervous. Every time I go, I feel like I have to throw up. I don't know why, I just get super nervous, but right now I'm currently getting dressed. I have to leave a little bit early because I did not get a chance to print my parking pass. They do require that you have a parking pass because you have to pay to park on campus. They sent me one in my email on Wednesday, and so I plugged in my printer last night to print it, and I realized I didn't have any black ink. So now I have to go a little bit early and see if they're willing to let me use one of their printers. And they're gonna be like, girl, you've been in college for so long, you already know how this goes, but I'm just gonna pretend that I'm a first year student and see if they notice the difference. Cause you know, there's, it's a big campus, so a lot of times, you don't interact with the same people all the time. But right now I'm currently getting ready. I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna um, finish doing my lashes, do my eyebrows, and then do my lips. And we're gonna go ahead and head out of here. But I am gonna bring my GoPro along. I might take it off of my GoPro stick and then just have it in my hand. So that way I'll be able to bring you guys everywhere and have you guys along for the experience. But I might just be an adult as well and just bring my GoPro stick and stop being so scary because I'm, I'm scary to be like, like this hey guys welcome back to my youtube because i feel like people look at me and they'll be like who does this girl think she is you know but i just have to get over that fear but anyways let me get out of here so i can finish my makeup and i'll check back in with you guys right now i am on my way out of here it is 6 15 so i still have enough time to arrive and print out my parking pass I'm not gonna lie I'm a little nervous every single time like I have a new job I have an interview I have orientation I have something important even if I have like an event my birthday my graduation I get physically nauseous to the point that like I can't even show up because I'll start throwing up I'll start um, like just feeling dizzy I'll start seeing like a, what is it called little um, black dots all around me and it makes me feel like I can't even face my fears sometimes so I have to learn better coping mechanisms when it comes to having anxiety because I know a lot of times I'm not actually sick it's just my anxiety making me convince myself that I'm sick and I'm over here gagging and nothing coming out you know but anyways I'm gonna hurry up get in the car and get out of here What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bike stocking. Just Josh. So I just arrived. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little nauseous. I did bring a water bottle and an apple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a couple of bites, just calm my nerves a little bit. I don't know why I always get nervous just to begin another chapter in my life. I feel like I'm just continuing my education, but a lot of times I didn't imagine this for myself. So it's, it's these moments that I have to definitely cherish because they pass by so quickly. And I know these are gonna be moments I tell my children about, I tell my grandchildren about of, I remember when I was in college and I went to my orientation and well, you know, so ah, I'm excited for the future, y'all. They have like this little orientation check-in signs to help lead the way. And then I'm just following the crowd right now. Holiday logging, my body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put a ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song, give me that tempo. Told cool, be a fool with the shit. Told her don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. 
Fettuccine and Vincenzo. So there's like a lot of tables right now. We can get like free things. I just found out that everybody here is a transfer student. So I'm embarrassed recording guys. So I'm gonna just start grabbing stuff from the table. I'm gonna have my camera low so you guys can see. But last year, I never took advantage of grabbing free things because I was just so embarrassed. Or not last year, two years ago, I was so embarrassed and I didn't grab anything. So this year, I'm gonna be sure to grab as much as possible. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of she like. Got my own flow and I'm about to get a pack. Brand new sheets for the bed they set. Y'all was the two of them back then. Okay. So you know how I said I wasn't gonna be embarrassed and I was gonna grab stuff? I definitely lied. I went to the tables and all I had the courage to do is grab a paper and I started asking questions and I thought that people at the table would offer me something, but they didn't offer me. I used to work tabling and I used to um, give stuff to every single student who would even come up to the table. I would say, hey, how are you doing? Would you like something free? And I would use that as an opportunity to tell the student about services, but I can tell this school is definitely in need of me. I'm gonna apply for every program I'm gonna apply for every club because I'm just that person but all right let me go get ready to I sign do in. peep that they have some breakfast stuff finally because I'm hungry as heck do you guys see those muffins on that table over there and then if you guys see right there they do have like some healthy options some yogurt I think I see a guy with strawberries I don't know if he brought those or not but there's some juice bins and stuff for coffee so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way over there I'm trying to force myself to go to these tables and just say, you know what, can I have one of those crock pins for my shoes that say this college's name, please? I don't know why I'm embarrassed because if I don't ask now, then I know I'm gonna have to pay like $8 in the student store for it. So I'm gonna ask for it. I don't know if I want to join a stu associate student government this year because honestly, it was a lot of stress uh, just to have on my plate because I felt like I was doing so much for free but I do hear that they might be offering stipends this year so I'm like Ooh, if I get paid to do it of course of course you guys already know who I am okay so I just grabbed stuff for my program but they have like fruit they have a lot of different types of assorted muffins they have coffee right here everything to make it I think they have just water bottles and oh they have apple juice too okay they're fancy here I see it I see it <laughs> didn't print out this parking pass and they told me I was gonna get a ticket if I didn't put it in my car so to be honest I'm kind of embarrassed like I see a lot of the faculty and classified personnel staring at me because I'm recording but at the end of the day they should be on their P's and Q's because I'm a student and they need to give me the best possible experience you know and uh, I feel like having a camera makes them do a little bit better at their job because now that people see me with the camera everybody's like good morning good morning good morning you know you know so it's just uh, I have to stop being scared and kind of remember this camera empowers me in a way you know but now I'm gonna be all out of breath walking to my car but I'm not gonna get no ticket on my first day here again so I swear they keep jacking I ain't doing no verse quit asking what's poppin brand new whip just hopped in I got options I can you guys come back into the room so you want to head on outside these side doors meet with your pack leaders they're gonna start doing attendance making sure you're all here they have some questions for you and then we'll get started in about a few minutes thank you Oh, that, that's where I get the bus. Pass that like stocking. Just joshing. I'm gonna spend this holiday locking. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put a ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. Welcome to the game. <laughs> so they just called me out for filming and you guys know I had to secretly hide the camera. I'm embarrassed. Why do I feel gassed up? Here at CSUSB. And on behalf of our entire office, we do stop cheering you in as you came in. 
Um, welcome to Kill State. I'm a biology man. Oh. No, I just made it far enough. They haven't weeded me out yet. <laughs> just kidding. Like I did mention, this is one of our newest and not genius building that opened already. On the first floor, we got the bowling alley. We got the brand new Panda Express. We got the Habit Bar and Grill. We also have the pub, also known as the Cantina. We got the little study lounge that kind of looks like the... Um, High School Musical, for those of you that are <laughs> old enough to remember it, right? We've got a brand new, we've got a brand new Coyote bookstore, it actually grew in size, that's pretty cool. Uh, some lounge areas, my favorite spot is a little secret kitty, that way. So once again, if you do need to use the elevator, go ahead and use so. Um, this one probably holds a little bit less, eight or nine people comfortably. Um, hit the third floor, and I'm going to shut up there, not a couple of flights. Get your brand new whip, just hopped in I got options, I can pass that like stocking Just joshing, I'ma spend this holiday locked in My body got rid of them toxins Sports in the top 10 I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone This shit sound like an intro, jet song, give me that tempo So cool, get full with shit Tempo hurt, don't let her friends know What up, Brady? So, my pack 8, go ahead and go in here, guys Hi, how are you? Oh, that's cute. Okay, Bad Bunny, I see you. Hello, little vibes. That's how it always is here. Oh, I like that. Don't be self conscious. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Obviously, anyone can come in. Um, we have free printing, free dances, free snacks. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a place to hang out. I always have music uh, playing. Um, yeah, this is just a place where people come to de stress, hang out with friends. Um, we hold programs as well to serve the community. Like um, for this month coming up, we do have the Dia de los Muertos events going on. So this is actually, um, you can't really see, but. Um. Okay, so to be honest, I'm a little bit. Um, embarrassed to walk into any of these rooms and they're giving us a full hour to walk into these rooms so i'm just gonna walk up and down these halls for the next hour they have like little opportunities to win shirts and things like that so i need to stop just being scared and walk into one of these offices i've always been that person that's just been scared to take a risk but let me go ahead i see some tables right here let's see how they turn out y'all okay some more snacks these ones are a little bit different than the ones that were downstairs Y'all know I gotta grab a bag of chips real quick. I hate Okay. I got pretty good machines here. Vice President Office. Student of Affairs. Follow us on Instagram. So my GoPro died, so I have to film the rest of my footage on my phone, which is embarrassing, but fuck it at this point. I did get a shirt. I got a lot of stuff. They, get, they have so many random things. I got a metal straw for my cup. They gave me a mini bag of condoms. I, I'll take it. I'll just take anything they're giving me. I got another little thing of barbecue chips and some water. And now I'm just waiting. It sucks because I'm going to have to sneak out of this thing early. And I'm hoping they don't realize and they're still able to remove the orientation hold. But if not, I'll just attend a second orientation. But the next time I'm coming, best believe I'm going to get those little crock little things, those charms. I'm not going to be embarrassed this time. I just gave like a ticket and we're gonna get some free food right now they have like a couple of places a flame girl sweet shop artists and pizza fresh 52 they got like a little game area where you can play Jenga and have fun a sitting area they got soda machines so uh, I'm nervous y'all I don't know what I'm gonna eat 
to be honest, I kind of feel like uh, a lot of anxiety because I know I have to leave early. So hopefully they are able to help me with the registration hold. But if not, it's okay. I know everything will work out. So I need to just stop letting things get to me so much. But anyways, we are back at home. I see that we're falling off late. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. In my mind, I'm down by it. Okay, so they just let us know that it's all you can eat here. So the ticket that we gave them, we can eat at any place in here. And tell me why. I'm gonna like try a little bit of every place because I was embarrassed before, but I'm not embarrassed now because look it, there are no like attendants, so I could just grab stuff right now. So look at here I go. Let me give me a little bit of ice cream. Look at they got all the goodies here. I'm gonna try not to have ice cream every single day. They like little cereal cosas. They have bagels. They also have like peanut butter, all this stuff to put on your toast and things like that. They have almond milk, which is fire. Would really good for me because to be honest, I'm like one of those people that can't have milk like that. So this place has like hamburger buns, corn dogs, french fries, leaf lettuce, the whole enchilada. Look at that period, okay? Where'd you get those wings from? Over there, home style. Home style? Yeah. Good looks, appreciate that. So I'm about to get so many plates right now. I know everyone at the orientation table is gonna be looking at me like, what the fuck? Okay, so this is where they got the wings at. Y'all know I have to make my way here. You guys can see it says they have celery sticks, ranch dressing, sweet chili, chicken wings, BBQ chicken wings, and everything spicy tofu. Those wings, they calling me. Uh, which one are you on hold? Uh, which one are these ones? These are sweet chili, and this one is uh, barbecue. Which one is more popular? Uh, sweet chili. May I try some sweet chili, please? Thank you so much for asking. And this is your first day here? Yes. Like it? Uh, so far, yeah, I'm vlogging my little experience. I'm like, I'm gonna look back and laugh like, oh my God, I remember it was my first day. <laughs> Thank you so much, have a blessed day. Okay, so they low-key rationed me. I thought I was gonna be able to grab as much as I wanted, but that's not, I'm gonna come back a limited time, but you know. It sucks because I feel like I'm looking at this as a sign to drink water, but I'm gonna make my way over to the soda machine. Okay, so they said we can grab as much food as we want, and I took that to heart. And I'm always that person that grabs like a little bit of shit, but look at I grabbed some tofu bites, some hot wings, some celery, some pasta, some, I don't even know what that is, lasagna, wannabe lasagna. I got a burger. They didn't cook the onions, but I'll deal with it. Uh, some fries, and lastly, some chicken pozole. But if you guys look at it, let me just show you guys real quick. That color, I don't know, the color is giving, it's American pozole, but I'll, it'll have to work for now. Let me test it out for you guys. Ooh! See, I spoke too soon because it's actually really good. You know how we, I was talking shit? Take that back. This is really good. It just needs a little bit of pepper. I mean, um, salsa and a little bit of radish, onion. Good to go. This is going to be fire. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna try the wings now. The only thing I didn't like is they didn't have like no buffalo wings. All the wings are like trying to be artisan, you know? So they have like these fancy little flavors, uh, Asian spicy, I don't know what the fuck this one was called, but it's like a glaze. I don't even know, let me try it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Mm, see, I don't even know what's good. If I would have ordered, if I would have seen this, I would have never ordered it. But just because I've seen so many people grab it, you know, I was like, let me try something new, and definitely worth it. Really good. Mm. Look at the bone, though. Do you guys see that? I worked at Shakey's for two years. I would never serve chicken like that. It's just because like I'm very big on like food safety and things like that. And seeing the bone that red is kind of gross to me. I'm gonna hold off on the wing. They got these tofu bites. Let me try these. Mm, to be honest, this is good. I'm not gonna lie. I guess it's just a mental thing that I always want to mentally tell myself that tofu is nasty, but this is really, really good. Here, let me try the pasta real quick. I finish off this video so I can turn it off so I don't make anybody uncomfortable because I'm filming right here at the table with everybody around me. Y'all can see. Mm -hmm. Not bad, homegirl. 
Are you live? No, I'm not live. I'm recording. Mm -hmm. I'm like a little YouTube channel. Yeah. I gotta pay my bills, gotta pay my car insurance, my insurance. So I gotta do these little videos. Monetize her. 26,000 subs. Oh, yeah, good. I'm good to go. Now the hard part is just not being embarrassed filming in public. Mm -hmm. I always used to do the voiceovers, but now I'm showing my face, so I'm like, oh, so cringe. <laughs> and the worst part is when you rewatch the videos and see the people behind you, and they have faces like, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, my bad, I didn't mean it. I saw a sign there. I don't know if that's actually it. Okay. This pasta, it's a buttered pasta with broccoli, nasty. Falta sal, that needs a little bit more seasoning. I do like this, like, I think it's lasagna. Can you guys see this one? It's like a lasagna. I'm gonna try the burger out. Ooh, the fries are hot, okay. I feel like I made everybody leave because I was filming, but it's okay. You guys know it's part of the part of the journey. Okay, I'm gonna try the burger lastly. It's like it's like a burger. You know when you buy burgers for a party and everything gets separated. Look at this shit. It is fucking. Look at that meat. It looks fucking dry as fuck. Okay, let me just take this shit off. I don't want this. To be honest, I don't like cooked cheese. Do you guys see the cheese? Why can't they just have half the patties with the cheese melted on it? You know, just make it a little bit more bearable, but let's go. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm gonna have to give the burger a five out of 10. You guys see how big the bread is? This bread is way too big. It's like a bread to meat ratio. I even put double double meat because I'm like a chunky person. So I put double meat. If you see the meat to bread ratio, it's just too much. I don't, preferably I don't like this. I think my favorite out of all of this would have to be the pozole and then the tofu bite, so. A cool dish contraption. I guess you can put in your dishes right here. I don't know if I gotta separate each one, my bad. Oh fuck it, I'll leave it like that. So they still have a whole bunch of shit over here that I hadn't tried yet either, but I'm gonna do it next time. They got a Southwest tortilla soup, some clam chowder. Look at, I missed the best part. They had a salad bar right here and I missed the best part. But anyways, let's go back to the table and grab all my stuff. So we're on our way heading out. The food was okay, to be honest. I wouldn't pay for like a membership here or to eat here or anything like that. And oh shoot, I'm away from my group. Okay, I gotta be right back. I'll hit you guys up. So we are back where we started. We're going back into this room. So let's see. Okay, so don't mind my hair. I was able to leave early, but since I am leaving early, I do have to come back for the next session in three weeks, and that means I have to wait additional three weeks to register for my classes. Dang, I'm out of breath. Woo, it's because, you know, it's been like, what, four months since I've been walking like this all over campus, and I'm already out of breath. That's how I know I need to take like my health serious because, like we were walking up the stairs right and it was like three flights of stairs but not no normal three flights it was like baby steps you know like the small steps and when we got to the top of the stairs they started asking us questions i couldn't even answer it because i was so out of breath so that's just like a sign that i need to take advantage of like the free gym that they have here things like that where's my car okay i see it but anyways i have work at 3 p.m it is currently 205 and i'll be able to work perfectly on time so today was an amazing day um it was successful i got a lot of things i got a shirt so i'm gonna show you everything that i got in the car overall i definitely have to say i'm very excited to 
just begin this new journey in my life. I'm so excited. All I want is my teaching credentials. I don't want an emergency teaching credentials. I don't want to be a substitute teacher. I just want a teaching credentials and I want a, an official position. I want to be tenured. You know, that's my goal. And it's so crazy. Like, it's, it's just so crazy how my life is, you know? They were talking about how in two years we're going to be graduating and just... Think about where you're going to be in two years. And now that I'm 26 years old, I know how fast two years can pass. So I really have to make sure I stay focused, stay on top of my grades, get as many scholarships as I can. Hey, no barking. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. If you made it to the end of this video, then comment a couple of like the graduate emojis because my goal is I want to get a PhD. Does this sound crazy? Like... I don't know, I just never seen it in my future. And maybe I gotta start doing things that I don't see in my future and change my own life, you know? But, all right, love you guys.